Hello Capricorn, this is monthly forecast for you for the month of January 2016. Uh, let's begin. I'll remind you that this is home and family, our relatives, uh, sometimes even neighborhood, place where we live, love relationships, any other significant, not only uh, romantic uh, relationships for us, work and business, uh, finances, advice and what is not recommended. Let's begin with the home and family. You've got Page of Wands and Queen of Wands. And I think it will be uh, some news or from this woman who's shown by Queen of Wands or about her. But for me it's like positive news. It's some uh, something because this uh, Wands, it's always like work, passion, things that we're doing things that, that we're beginning, maybe about travel. If you're man Capricorn, it can be just your wife and child or wife and children and news from your wife, maybe your uh, or wife or woman who you're living with talking very much and like to talk <laughs> because Paige is very passionate, telling a lot of things, a lot of news. Uh, love relationships. You've got Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel and Strength wonderful energies. If you're coupled and you want to uh, uh, make some changes in your personal life, this month, this very positive strong energies from two major arcanas that allow us to make some changes. Maybe we want to a little bit correct our direction of our relationships, existing relationships. It's a good month for it. For it if you will pay attention a little bit and do something about it. Uh, if you are single, you have a really wonderful chance to begin a new relationship, to start it. It's just a question of accepting, um, I mean, why I'm saying it, uh, because I see what is in advice and I see what is in finances. Maybe you will be like, I am not ready to open, I'm not ready to begin the relationships and stuff like that. But uh, keep in mind that this is a really wonderful month to begin. It's really wonderful energies. But if you don't want it and if you will just want to run away from this, you can do it. And everything is just uh, this wheel will move, uh, pass by without uh, touching you <laughs> in any way. Uh, work and business. Uh, Queen of Swords and Two of Wands. Uh, for most of you it will, it will be a completely normal month. It's uh, work, it's like business atmosphere at work. For some of you Capricorn, maybe there is a woman at work, it can be uh, your boss or co-worker, maybe it's not a woman, maybe it's a man in general reading, it, it might be some person that you are like having, I think it's a little bit hidden, this confrontation that you have this, with this person. It's not like open fight, like you're fighting, you are discussing something. No, it's like more like it's hidden. But there is like you uh, against you and this person a little bit against each other or competitive with each other. Uh, but you have to remember that this Queen of uh, Swords, if it's uh, shown your boss, uh, this person really... Uh, sometimes tough, uh, usually because uh, it's upright, uh, Queen of Swords, it, this person uh, fair enough but can be tough really and don't want to listen all these excuses why you got late and stuff like that. So uh, try to be attentive for what your boss telling you and what he or she is asking you about and try to do it properly at work because uh, those uh, swords people, especially Queen of Swords, she's really like scanning you. Like, you know, she can see everything. And when you're lying, she can also see it, that this is not truth. <laughs> and you're always wondering, like, how she knows it. I played so well. Finances, Ten of Swords and uh, the Tower. Uh, tower, it's uh, of course 
uh, major arcana and it's strong energy that we can't uh, change so it's in this combination I think it will be your uh, really heavy and negative thoughts about some unexpected expenses unexpected payments about some business deal that uh, like didn't happen you understand what I mean maybe you plan something or maybe someone maybe you hope that you will uh, take a loan in the bank and then they said no to you and you also taking it very negatively try not to react like this because this what is uh, happened unexpectedly and we a little bit like um, stressed by it we can't change it but our reaction mental uh, stuff that is going in our mind we can change it so uh, try to be more positive uh, try to see what uh, good you have instead of uh, have this uh, heavy thoughts and panic about it advice that you've got yes it's not uh, easy month uh, probably three of swords and uh, what is not recommended the chariot major arcana when i was talking about uh, this love stuff and i said that uh, uh, it can be that someone someone like almost coming on you like a tractor <laughs> very strong showing you all your all uh, his or her love uh, there is a lot of emotion a lot of passion towards you but you are in first place you can be occupied you can be uh, married or having relationships but there is someone showing you attention be prepared for this or you are free you are not in relation you're single but you like feel I am not ready for anything and this it's coming to you so the advice is to I don't know like open your heart maybe uh, it's not easy but the, oh, it's difficult advice really it's always this three of swords when it's in advice it's in advice it's more like lesson and it's tough one you have to accept some things that are coming uh, this month to you you have to see and uh, be honest with yourself in the first place open your heart and your feelings uh, try to understand what you feel why do you feel it um, maybe you will have to make some difficult decision and you have to make it even if it's a little bit painful and stressful <sighs> accept some truth so like here it is it's like this I can't change it I have I just have to accept it don't try to like uh, run away from any, everything like don't try to hide in the uh, house like the snail you know who is uh, carrying this house on her on on the back don't try to hide your own feelings from yourself in the first place honestly tell something what you feel uh, what you fear open your eyes even if it's scary even if it's painful accept that uh, something is not like you wanted mm. it's more like a lesson yes if there is some loss accept it yes it went wrong a little bit but I don't wanna like maybe I cried for a couple of minutes but then I am drying my eyes looking at things how they are it's still a little bit painful but I can do something about it I can change something I have to move forward I have to leave uh, I can't stop right here right now and I can't run away from this at, at least you you must not don't try to like you know if we have like road we have a road and it's uh, straight but then it's some problems on the road and 
you have to go through these problems. It's a little bit uncomfortable, it's painful, you don't like it, you want it straight, you want it to be nice, smooth. But it's not always like this. You can't fly over these uh, difficulties on the road, these holes or hills or something. You have to pass this difficult... <laughs> uh, how you call it? I don't know this place on the road. You have to uh, pass it. You have to go through it. You will be stronger, you will be wiser, you will know a lot of things and you will respect yourself in the first place. So it, it doesn't matter in what area. I think it's more like uh, or it's personal life or it's finances. You have to tell yourself some truth. You have to accept it. Be patient. Uh, be kind to yourself, but be honest with yourself. This is the most important thing, dear Capricorn. I'm wishing you a great January, and not only January, be a great beginning of 2016. Uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and hope to see you next time. Bye.